tech people so in this video we are going to talk about navigating between pages in the next JS so if you are new to this video let me show you what we are going to do in this playlist so we are creating a WordPress headless web app so in my previous video I just showed you the basic installation of the WordPress and also the I showed you the um, basic app installation for Next.js so this is the again video about only Next.js and then we will start connecting the WordPress with Next uh, Next.js app so in this video we will be talking about navigating between pages in the next JS so if you remember in my previous video in this pages folder we have created we have a we have the next uh, index.js page so um, all the pages inside pages folder will be a component so let me show you this index.php uh, sorry index.js so here you see that function name home so this is called a component component is nothing but the function which does some particular process or function so in this case this displays the home page so that's that and uh, pages are route base and what does it mean by route base so for example if you create a folder called posts inside pages and then if you add first post dot js inside that folder then you will be able to access the content of this page by visiting your site url slash posts slash first post so that that is the meaning of pages are route base um yeah this might be not clear by reading that so let's try to explain by creating a new page so let's add hello wp.js and i will create inside posts folder so our hello wp dot js is created now let's try to add this code inside this page so what we are doing here is we are simply creating this component called first post and we are just printing this h1 tag and most important thing for component is that you have to default export that so once when you create any component you have to write this two words before the function that will make them export this component into another another file so now we are done um, yeah before doing anything into browser let's start the server so i'm gonna open this terminal so the server is not running for my setup so to run the server command is npm run dev the server has started it gave us this url let's wait for yeah so successfully created so i'm gonna copy this and yeah in our previous video we created this simple 
next js app so here we created this page inside post folder so how we can access the content of this page so we just simply have to add posts slash hello wp so as you can see we have the first post display over here Okay, let me get rid of this so this is how you can create a new page now another one is the link component so now we will be adding links between these two pages so from here we will go to home page and from home page we will go to this newly created page so what we are going to do is we will add another link below this so we will so yeah first let's uh, understand what link component is so link component is used to add links in the next js app it is similar to html's anchor tag but this will enable some more feature for the app that we I will explain in later but yeah so whenever we use any component we have to import that component first so for example um, yeah, let me let me add a link over here Sorry, not this one. Let me add similar H2 here. Sorry. and here i will add this link component so i will change this to link and let's see what happens so as you can see we are having some issue it says unhandled runtime error link is not defined so because we use this component but we haven't import that component inside this file so that's why it is giving us this error link is not defined so this is why whenever we use we want to use any component we have to import related component first so i'm going to add this in the index.js and then now let's refresh this so as you can see it says go to first post okay currently i gave the next js link but we want to go to this hello wp page from here so we will change this link to this posts and hello wp so it automatically refresh so let's click on this and as you can see this transfer to this first post page now let's add link to home page on this first post page so first we have to import this link and then so notice that we have this return function a return method in single line but now we want to add a link as well 
so whenever we want to add multiple lines then we have to wrap this inside a bracket and let me add this link and I will simply add slash over here and I will say go to home and as you can see we are having some error over here so why because we have to wrap this inside a wrapper we cannot add this multiple elements like this we have to always wrap this inside a wrapper so we can add something like this or you can add div as well but we will go with the flow um, next is yes, all example does this only so now if we refresh this if we, if you can see that uh, go to home link is there so let's click on that and we are on the home page so that was the link component and the link component enables client site navigation so client site navig navigation means the navigation does using the javascript and uh, it will be much faster than the actual navigation so let me show you that so we can verify that adding a background color and then we will switch the links so I'm gonna inspect this and <coughs> sorry let's add a background to body and I will say this blue color sorry not let's use this aquamarine color and now if we switch this uh, switch to this link this blue um, this background color will remain the same so that is happening because of uh, the link component and this phenomena is called server uh, sorry client site navigation so this is the benefit of this link component and this is the video guys so yeah in this video we talked about how to navigate between pages and link components so if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section Thanks for watching the video guys.